In a time where we're asking questions of ourselves and of others about where we are as humans, there's a man who we all know who wonders the same. He's been labeled as evil and selfish. Labels that have no basis in proof. Today, we'll get to know the man behind the myth and find out what he truly thinks of humanity. We are joined today by Lucifer, Satan, or simply put, the devil. Thanks for joining us. Thanks for having me, Dick. Glad to be here. So, uh, how long have you been here? <laughs> Ages. <laughs> I don't remember the exact amount, you know. How did you get here? Well, I'm, I know most people don't believe in God or I, so they can't imagine heaven, but that's where I was. Lucifer was uh, cast out of heaven. So, so what really happened? I kind of just walked away. So you were in heaven and you just walked away? Yeah, there was a disagreement. With whom? Uh, you and God? The all-powerful, all-loving, but jealous God? I mean, he could have just destroyed you, couldn't he? It doesn't work that way, Dick. Hmm, right. Look, he made you humans. I disagree with the concept, so I walked away. I've been here ever since. You didn't go to hell. Isn't that how the fairy tale goes? There is no hell. There's something similar to what you humans call heaven, but no hell. This is your hell, right? Yeah, sort of. Heaven's different for us than it is for you. We don't die, we weren't born, so it's different in the perspective of heaven between angels and humans. Uh. Is the Bible real? Some of it. Some stories come from stories passed down through the generations, like the flood. That shit's real. But no, it isn't. Is Jesus real? Yeah, kind of. Kind of? Please explain. At the time, I heard of this man claiming to heal people and professing that he was the son of God. Well, being that I've had an actual relationship with God, I want to find this man, Jesus, and question his motives. Because you knew that God never had a son. Correct. What did he uh, look like? He was darker than the standard Jewish man. Well, by today's standards. And he wore a, a beard, as was the style back then. Well, that's an interesting perspective. Um, we're going to wrap this up soon. Is there anything else you'd like to say? Sure. I walked away because of death. Do you understand what the concept of death means? Do you really? Do you understand the concept of death? Do you really? It means that you all are going to die. It means that I won't. Death is the cause of all the ills of this world. Sin, you realize you're going to die, so you begin to sin, all because of death. I couldn't understand why God would make humans, only to have them realize that there's a clock over their lives and that clock expires soon. It felt unfair. Not to you, to us. We can't kill each other when we're mad at each other. We can't rebel against God. Shit, humans take lives whenever they choose. We can't create life and play God. We can't fuck just to pretend playing God. I left because I want to play human, ironically enough. I want to do all the things that we angels couldn't do, but even after getting here, without death, it was futile. I have no superpowers, I'm just red. The whole concept of me is a facade, a joke, a lie. An excuse for humans to avoid responsibilities for their realities. A way of excusing consequences of their actions against one another. You don't realize the gift you've been given. 
the privilege that's been bestowed upon me. Christianity's view of me is the same as America's view of minorities. You needed a villain. You create fear to control. You create fear to... Escape your own demons, for lack of a better phrase. God is a clock-making son of a bitch. Humans have and will always have the ability to create a world that they wish. And may God help them. Wow, that was uh, poetic. Uh, thank you for this interesting conversation. I hope it's the start of many conversations that we can have among ourselves. My name is Dick Carson. My time is up. I thank you for yours.